Good morning. Today's lesson is 4.7. Use unit rates. Our essential question, how can you solve problems using unit rates? Let's unlock the problem. The Champel family is traveling from Arizona to Texas. On the first part of the trip, they drove 500 miles in 10 hours. If they continue driving at the same rate, how many hours will it take them to drive 750 miles? You can use an equivalent ratio to find the number of hours it will take the Champy family to drive 750 miles. You may need to find a unit rate before writing an equivalent ratio, just like we did yesterday. So if I drove 500 miles in 10 hours, if I divide the top and the bottom by the 10, I'll find the unit rate, right? I'll find how much it was for one hour. So to find the equivalent rate, Write the ratio that compares the miles to hours. 750 is not a multiple of 500, so we need to write the known multiple rate. So we have 500 miles for every 10, and we know 750 is something, but we don't know what the blank is. But if we take that 500 and we divide the top and the bottom by 10, like I said a few seconds ago, then we'll be able to get that, right? So 50 divided by 10 is going to be... 50 and then 10 divided by 10 is 1. So my unit rate is 50 over 1. So I can compare that to 750 over, and we're trying to find the missing number, right? So if I divide the top and the bottom by 15, so I'm going to write my equivalent ratio, which is multiplying the numerator and the denominator, right, by the same value. And if I multiply 50 by 15, then I'm going to get 750. So that's why I'm doing the top and the bottom. I know that's kind of confusing, so let me go over that again. So first I have to find out what the unit rate is, right? So I know that for every 500 miles, I get t it's 10 hours, right? So 510. I want this bottom number to be 1, so I'm going to divide it by the bottom number on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to get 50 over 1. Now, I'm trying to find this missing number. And remember, the opposite of division is multiplication. So what times 50 is going to get me this 750? And what times 50 is going to get me that 750 is 15. And whatever I do to the top, I have to do the bottom, right? So I'm going to multiply both by 50. And so the denominator is now going to be 15, right? So the numerators are the same so that the denominators are equal to each other. So the unknown value is going to be 15. So it will take the family 15 hours to drive 750 miles, right? And I, I feel like it's kind of confusing, but I just want to go back over it again. So we know how we got our unit rate. We did that yesterday. I divide both numbers by the bottom number, which gives me my unit rate of 1, right? Because 500 goes into 10 50 times, 10 goes into 10 one time. So I've got 50 over 1. Now I know this number is 750, and I know in order to get that, I had to multiply a number by this to get that, and that was 15. Whatever I do to the top, I do to the bottom. So 50 times 15 is 750. 1 times 15 is going to be 15, and that's how I know this number right here is 15. Kenyon earns $105 for mowing 3 lawns. How much would Kenyon earn for mowing 10 lawns? So you could draw a bar model. So we have our 1, 2, 3 lawns with 150, and now we want to know 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, how much he owns. He earns for 10 lawns, right? So let's solve the problem. The model shows that 3 units represents $105. You need to find the value represented by 10 units. So first we have to make a unit rate. Um, one unit represents $35. And the reason I know that is because I take, I have three of them, right? So to find out how much each one of these is, I can divide three into 105 and I'm going to get um, the 35, right? So 105 divided by three. I divide both sides by three, top and bottom, and I'm gonna get my unit rate is for every one lawn, we're making $35. So the unit rate um, to 10 times is gonna be $35. So 10 times $35, right? Because I said I wanna know, if I know, let me go back to this. So if I know that for every three lawns, it's $105. I need to find out how much one lawn is. If I divide 3 into the 105, I get 35. So for every 1 lawn, it's 35. Now if I want to know how many 10 lawns, I could take the 10, multiply it times the 35, and I should get the 10 lawns, right? So 
And when I do that, I get 350. So Keaton's going to earn $350 for mowing 10 lawns. Last summer, Kenyon earned $210 for mowing seven lawns. How much did he earn for mowing five lawns last summer? So first we have a draw bar model to represent the situation, and then we're going to solve the problem. I'm going to kind of show it to you all at once. So for $210, it was seven lawns. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lawns for $210. But we need to know how much five lawns is, right? So first you need to do your graph. You need to do your... Um, so for 200 lawns, or $210, and that was for seven lawns, so I'm going to divide that in. And when I do that, when I divide that, when I divide the top and the bottom by seven, I get my one, my one, for one lawn here, um, seven goes into 210 30 times. So for every one lawn, it was $30. So that, and if I'm, we need to know five lawns, that's 30 plus 30 plus 30, plus 30, plus 30, right? Or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 30, right? Which is going to be 150. Okay, I'm going to do one more with you. So we have use a unit rate to find the unknown value, right? So we have 10 over we don't know, and it should equal 6 over 3, right? So if I know this one, if I divide the top and the bottom by 3, I'm going to get the unit rate of Right, so if I do the top and the bottom by three, six divided by three is two, right? And three divided by three is one. So now I have 10 over blank and two over one. Okay, so now if I, I know that to get, oh, whoops, sorry, I did that a little early, but let me go back. So I know in order to get this 10, I had to multiply the two by five, right? So if I m multiply the top and the bottom by 5, I'm going to get this missing number because 2 times 5 is this 10. 1 times this 5 is going to be this number right here, which is going to be 5. So my missing number is going to be 5. Okay, you may work on your own or with a partner to finish the rest, and I am available for you as always. Good luck.